All right, welcome back to the shop. This is a hand truck that's been around longer than I've been around. Uh, it's got a million miles on it. It's been a great, great hand truck. I, I think that one of the nice features about this truck is it has these skids here. It's not necessarily good for the stairs that you're climbing, but it will help you traverse some of those some of those big inclines. And it, you know it offers a pretty sturdy foundation. All in all, this is you know not a special hand truck. It's not a magliner or anything like that, but it is pretty nice. Uh, the problem is, is I broke one of the wheels off of it, and I could buy a new fork, a hand truck. You know within my means to go out and buy a new one but you know this one's sort of sentimental to me so let me go ahead and try to fix it I've got some wheels that are probably way overkill for this but I think it's Tom Lipton says nothing too strong ever broke so let's see if we can't get these old races off of here and then see if I can't fit those new wheels on So those wheels are going to look pretty good. However, I have sort of a issue in the sense that these are not quite long enough. I think I can drill and tap that, and then just suction that in there, and it should be. Well, uh, geez, I don't know. Let me think about it. Bring you back. All right. So I figured out what I was going to do. I did the first side already. Now I'm going to go ahead and I've got a camera over here. I'm going to give you a time lapse. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drill and tap the center hole here and then put a washer and a cap head bolt on here and that will hold everything together hopefully hopefully this side works as well as the other side and i'll explain it at the end Alright, so there it is. The hand track, I've got some fender washers with that the quarter or twenty bolt just holding it in. I had to shorten this one up just a touch. I strangely enough the old the old axle had a cotter pin through it. Whenever I was if, depending on how I edited this, you may have seen me struggling with the drill bit. When the drill bit intercepted intercepted that hole for the for the uh, cotter pin, it really got hung up like it was work hardened or something, so strange but but these wheels are extremely nice wheels I actually bought them I had initially bought them to go on my I got one of these hand trucks this was super handy when I was moving still moving but they happen to be relatively cheap I think these were twenty dollars for the pair and if you're shopping for hand truck wheels that's sort of a song but let me put this on the ground and show you what it looks like all right it's sort of like a an old Pinto with new mag wheels. Uh, fancy new shoes on this. The, these wheels are slightly taller. They are they're sold in the nominal size. Is nominal meaning in name only, 8 inches. Let me get a tape measure and see exactly what they measure out to. Alright, so these wheels, just using my laser eyeball, if we look at this side being squared up, these are roughly 8 and a quarter inches would be my my estimate on that so slightly over the original wheel which is seven and three quarters give or take seven and seven eighths so there's a little bit of discrepancy in the wheel sizes I don't know if that would ever be crucial to your hand truck depending on the kind of hand truck you have but I doubt it so that's it. Short little video. I want to thank everybody for being part of the channel. This is a very rewarding 
you know, making these videos, and, and uh, anyway. Thanks, have a good night.